in here actually the show open dialog we're gonna pass in the ABP our ad book panel why because this is remember the ad book panel extends panel sorry we're actually gonna just the screen and remember the screen extends the JFrame and what this show open dialog takes in is the component parent so where is this uh, show open dialog in which uh, relative position is it being open from and we're gonna say it's being open from our library system screen so if we click browse and let, let me save and recompile this and run it again if we click on browse it should open up the JFile chooser for us without delay because now we have a GUI so he knows that when he clicks, he clicks browse something's gonna happen and then we're gonna choose a music and I know I shouldn't be showing you all these folders luckily I don't have any folders that I'm embarrassed of showing you except a couple of music like Fergie big you know <laughs> it's kinda oh god they saw it yeah so what? it's pretty cool music and now actually this time the perk is now that we have we're not using a command line anymore we can have spaces it doesn't matter anymore oh look Justin Bieber next to you has a space over here so let's open that it doesn't matter if we have spaces as you can see it puts that there and we can't add it yet because well you know we can't not yet alright so that that's what it does for now but we also want uh, to update our log dog we wanna we wanna say something like uh, no no we don't not yet we're not gonna update our log yet because he uh, the user hasn't added file to book yet but that's all the uh, the browse button does that's all it does so as a matter of fact we don't we don't need this else statement in here so if it's not the result code is not that then it's not gonna do anything now let's move on to this button over here add file to book okay oh man um, hmm. all right let me just pause right okay so um, <clears throat> we need to use a library sorry I set this to private just because the color you know there's no color here I like the color uh, whatever that is purple or is it violet or something anyways what am I talking about so I just create a, a library and it doesn't need to be static anymore like the one over here because we have a GUI now and this is not in our, in our main method this is not in our in a class that has the main method anymore so library I'm gonna call it lib it was new library just import this it's coming from our uh, model package <clears throat> okay and now let's go back to uh, open chooser and set the vim file no not there in here actually so add the button file and wait wait a minute did we instantiate it no make sure you don't instantiate it here so just copy this and then delete this part and then go to our uh, init event attributes and then initialize it here here so what we need to do here is just add the book so uh, add vim file to book I'm just gonna let Eclipse do this for us and um, let me see let me run the application 
So it's going to set that. It's going to put something like .mp3 here. Then we need to add the file to the book. Right, so at this point, we haven't created a book object yet. The book object hasn't been created yet. And we're going to create the book object once the, all of these fields have been filled out and once the user clicks Add Books Library. Now what we're going to do, <clears throat> and you're going to learn about caching here, you know what cache is, we're just going to put when the uh, user has added a new file, we're just going to put it in the cache and it's going to wait in the cache until the, uh, the user clicks add books to library in which all of the files that are in the cache, the vim cache, we're going to add all of it to the book when we're adding the book to the library, before we add the book to the library. So let's do that. We're going to create a cache <coughs> Let's actually we're gonna say private and it's gonna be an an array list. Private list and we're gonna it's gonna be a list of um Yeah, it's going to be a list of Vim files. That's right. Okay. I'm going to call it the Vim cache. Again, import. Make sure it's from java.util. Import our Vim object, Vim class. And go back to our init event attribute. So hold control and click on this. Eclipse will take you to the... Uh, oh, never mind. Over here. So we're going to set our vim cache equal to a new empty array list of uh, vim. Import, make sure it's coming from java.util. All right. And I don't even know why I have a uh, main system .java opened up here. Well, I guess I, I will need it some other time, but it's a little different now. Now that we're not doing it from the command line, I thought that I thought we could just copy and paste, but that's not going to happen because <clears throat> we got all these new stuff like the cache and stuff like that. Now that we have the cache, once we uh, click the add book. Well, first of all, the uh, add file. Sorry, once we click the uh, get the add file button, once we click this, we're gonna check to see if this is a valid file. And at this point, at this point, we have a file, and we have the vim file equal to the file that the J file chooser returned, and we have the name of that file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check if, uh, if it's a valid file. And again, remember a valid file is just a valid file must be a .wav mp3 avi mp4 png jpeg. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, all right? And we're going to set something like a valid file types. And we're going to set, uh, it's also going to be an array list. Valid file types I'm going to be equal to a new array list. A list of a string, and we still haven't created this yet, but leave it there for now. We're going to create it later. Um, 